it's an old saying, mind your own business. This is an Advancing No Movement general sermon on minding your own business. One thing we shouldn't really be as, as human beings is too rude, too, too nosy, too much of a busybody. People have a right to their own lives. We're created in the image of God and being made after God's image we have a sort of inherent self-worth and a self-dignity. And especially as we become older, we have the right to make our own decisions and to live our life on our own terms. And because of that, in the decisions that we want to make for how we interact with society, and the things we do and say, we have a right to a certain degree of privacy in our own lives and how we conduct things. Because we're the ones in charge and we don't necessarily want everyone else out in the world interfering with our own choices. There are a lot of people in the world who are nasty and angry and mean-spirited and uh, arrogant and unpleasant. And a lot of the time, quite frankly, we don't want these sorts of people interfering with our lives. But also a lot of the time, just anybody really, we don't want them knowing what's going on in our lives, because it's, it's our lives and it's our private lives, and we have a right to those privacies. Those private, personal things are dear to us, our family and our close friendships and our, our own little world. And we have a right to that privacy. We have a right to our lives. We have to live them. Other people don't have a right to interfere. It's one of the freedoms we have in, in Australia. And one of the freedoms we really have before God is the right to be ourselves and to express ourselves as we see fit. So when it comes to somebody unwelcome, unwelcomingly poking the nose into your business to tell you what to do or trying to find information or just trying to be a busybody or a nosy parker, you have a right to tell them really to fuck off or to go away and to mind for us. It's your life. Don't don't be too afraid to tell someone to back off. Don't be too afraid to tell even someone close to you, look, I don't really want to discuss that with you. Don't be too afraid to tell someone to mind their own business. You have a right to live your life on your terms and to live your life privately if you so choose. We have a legal system in the world which dictates what we can and cannot, cannot do in relation to our fellow neighbours in our, in our world, the land, in our streets, in our cities, in our towns. And that law governs our rights of interaction with society as a whole. But because when we obey that law, we have a right to protection of that law to protect our lives. And thus, we have a right to our privacy when we're going to be obedient to the law because we're normal citizens who have a right to be protected by the laws of society because we're obeying them and not interfering with other lives not being nosy pikers in other lives which can end us up in trouble and in jails and things like that minding your own business is good manners minding your own business is a polite way to go about life it doesn't mean you can't take an interest in something and a lot of the time that interest will actually be wrong. And a lot of the time people don't actually mind talking about their lives and opening up. But we really need a sensitive spirit, a sensitive heart, which knows when it's okay to ask, hey babe, you interested? And when it's not okay to say, hey, you look hot in that bikini. Mind your own business, it's good policy, it's good sense, it's good ethics, and just get along with your own life and let other people let other people worry about their own.